Motorheads, how you guys doing? Um, so here we are for Friday's video. Um, getting ready to get on the road. Things are really falling into place for me. And I'm um, starting local first. So you guys know what that is. Okay. That is that, that is that 383 intake spacer. And this is the man who made it. This is Curtis. Okay. He runs dirt. He does engineering and, and uh, 3D printing. And he had some questions about his resto mod. And um, it's pretty cool. I wanted to come over and check out his resto mod. So check out that beast. Check out that thing right there. 1965 Cadillac Hearst. Okay. Um, yeah, some people get a little creeped out about the Hearst thing. But um, 65 Cadillac, man. That first picture you saw was the grill of that Cadillac. Um, man, they, these old cars were, they were ambulances and, and Hearst. Um, because I, I, uh, Cheswell Fire Department had an ambulance, oh, yeah. and there's a story with that. Actually, my mom and dad were, well, they, my father was being rushed to a hospital in Philly, and oh, the yeah. ambulance had a crash. Oh, jeez. Okay? <laughs> my mom's head went through the windshield. Somewhere I've got pictures of a 68 Cadillac ambulance, looks just like this, okay? And it's, and it's sitting next to the bridge in Philadelphia with a, with a spot in the windshield where my mom's head went in and my dad came out of the gurney and it, it was a mess. Yeah. But that was back in the 69, 1970. Wow. And um, so here we are with Curtis and we're gonna let him tell you about his project. So yeah. tell us, I mean, you got an LS motor for it, man. That's pretty bad. You're gonna put an LS motor in, yeah. this, in this big thing. This is actually my second Harris. I sold my first one years ago and I, um, picked up this project uh, about seven years ago when the guy um, sold it to me he sold it with the engine out of the car it was a Cadillac engine originally and then this body here and then um I just been just working on it take it to my mechanic that I was working with at the time not this guy another mechanic and uh and just never really did anything with it and eventually like they were telling me about getting like an LS engine I just happened to come across somebody across the street from from here was selling a, a Suburban which I was maybe had an LS engine in it I scooped it up real quick and then and I sat on it for a while and then he was supposed to be in the process of like taking it apart and rebuilding it. It never happened. Then like just recently my buddy um got a hold of it and he um he was an engine uh a machine guy, machine shop guy, and he took it apart and painted it, but then he never fully put it back together again and just you know So it's got new rings and rods and all that in know, there? He, he left the bottom off the, the bottom, bottom in the loop. Yeah. Dude, there's no ridge in the block. I mean, a little bit of scarring in the wall, or a little bit of uh, staining in the wall. But what size? What size LS is this? I believe it's a five seven. Five uh, seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's the ones everybody wants. Me, after I did that convert, after I did that resto model on the '69 Chevelle, mm -hmm. I kind of these things are cool. These things are cool. But um, I, I'm not getting into that right yeah, now. Yeah, well, I, I would do one in my Trans Am, but um, yeah. Uh, traveling first and maybe build again later. I was we'll looking say. for a reliability, a little bit more, you know, fuel efficient. Man, that would be one. that would be reliable in this thing, that's for sure. So check this, this check this, uh, check this bad boy out, guys. Check this bad boy out. 1965 Cadillac. Look at that dash. That's when they engineered shit. Kind of weird that it's a hearse, and you know you and you know it hauled dead people, but um, man, this is cool. This is really cool. Yep, I tried to save as much as this as I could. Yeah, I'm trying to work from the outside in instead of the inside out. I, I did a little bit of inside work, but I want to mainly make sure it runs first before I do any kind of interior type work. So I took the bench seat out and took the divider out and in process of putting like, making like a, a wagon, but like a wagon, but it hurts. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> check it out, guys. Look at that. I have a random TV and I have like an idea for a pro, uh, um, it's called a Pepper's Ghost. Like if you're looking uh, at night in the window, you can see like inside of the room out. So I was thinking I can put the, uh, like a TV down on the bottom and then I'll have like a little like a plexiglass divider that'll kind of like motorize it down and I can display certain pictures on the, on the bottom. Wow, very yeah. cool. Yeah, I've seen these things. I saw the pictures of the one my mom and dad wrecked in and I never really got to see the dashes. I tell you what guys, Talk about a dash. Did you get a good picture of that dash? Talk about it. Talk about engineering on a dash. That is crazy. Really nice. Yeah, maybe you got a good, you got a good, looks like you got good meat and bones to start with. 
Yeah, I was in the process of like taking a frame out, but I may like after talking to you, maybe just you know put the bolts back in. But that's why I did I start lifting it up. I got all the frame bolts out. And well, it really depends on how far you want to go, and I'm gonna tell you what. Like that I'll, frame looks pretty damn good. I mean, other than it sitting, because this was vinyl top. This was all vinyl top on these, right? That's why was, the rust it was, it was, was on this. It was, it was like, yeah. Cloth covered. Yeah, and it was, I ripped it off eventually because it was... Yeah, because they, well, they all do this. All the vinyl tops do this. They, they get moisture underneath them and hold the moisture, so... You know, oh, 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 look at that. Look how bad that spacer is. <laughs> yep, I'm throwing it around. It didn't break. Yeah, this is really cool, man. This is really cool. Yep, and I've been running it. I've been running my motor, man. This thing's holding up great. Yep, a lot of guys are liking the uh, infrared video we did of that motor running. So, um, pretty cool. If you guys want some of these spacers, contact me. Um, he's still printing. He's he's got a little engineer business going. He's printing engine uh, spacers every day. So. And um, you're not you don't see many '65 Cadillac Hearst. So. Uh, do a whole body shot of that, and we're going to get out of Mr. Curtis's way. Yep. So, so why all the dots on the car? Yeah, all these dots are, I have a 3D scanner, so besides just printing things, I can scan things in real life to put them into, uh, you know, digital. So I was putting these dots on there for my 3D scanner to actually pick up it, and actually, so I can actually print a small version of this. So it actually makes the size of it. Yeah, he yeah. prints some really cool stuff. Check this 3D printing stuff out. This is actually his daughter. Don't get naughty, guys. Um, he printed this up for me because I'm talking about doing things on the road. Um, this is 3D set of pistons. says best mechanic. And there's actually a 3D printed Hearst he did. Yep, check those out, guys. Oh, put the piston up. Yep. Yeah. It needs, it needs wrist pins. It's moving. Yeah, that's what works. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. So, yep. So, Mr. Curtis, you got a pretty good project. Thanks for inviting me over. Yeah, um, I'm glad I got to see it. It takes me right back to the pictures I saw in the 80s of the one my, my mom and dad wrecked in. Um, but, yeah, maybe sometime when, when I get done traveling, I'll come over and help you do some stuff to it when you get a little further. Yeah. Yep. I'll be glad to. We'll work it out. Yeah. All right, Motorhead. So there's my Friday update. I got I got to get the the camper cleaned up, and, and I'm going I'm going to do some other interviews this weekend, and um, lots going on with the car lot stuff. So stay tuned, and thanks for tuning in. Oh yeah, you can really. I love it, guys. Check out what's on his own. Uh, the ball saver, we'll call it. Pretty cool. Curtis does some pretty cool 3D printing stuff. He gets real inventive.